Well, from the parliamentary sketch writer for the Daily Mail, Quentin Letts, and the former Labour advisor, Mike Buckley. Now, um, the Guardian's not happy, any, everybody, because uh, one of their headline stories today was about a private members club uh, that is for gentlemen only, the Garrick Club, I refer to, in London. Uh, there's accusations now, Quinton, that it's all the kind of upper echelons of society, all the, the powerful... It's a cabal elite. of important, powerful people who are running the country. And I thought to myself, <laughs> when I heard descriptions like that, I bet Quentin Letts is somehow involved. <laughs> Are you? I've been, I've been to the Garrick a few times. It's all right. Are you so a member? Jolly, no, I'm not a member of that one. Right. I'm a member of another gentleman's club. Madame Fifi's massage parlour on <laughs> Dean Street. Um, <laughs> but uh, they do a very good savoury. Um, uh, uh, no, um, I've been to the Garrick a few times. It's a beautiful building and um, uh, the grub's pretty good. I had a very good veal chop there last time. But uh, the idea that these people are running the country is, I think, a little far-fetched. Right, well, because why most can't of them women... are, are old geezers who, who've got a lot of custard down. Why can't women be members? Because it's a gents club. My, my daughter, my, one of my daughters, is a member of an all-women's club called the University Women's Club. And uh, uh, they don't allow blokes in. It's an outrage! No, it's not. It's, it's, it's a free country. Um, so, first, first, says Quinton. Mike? I mean, it's archaic and it needs to change. What is? You know, is my view. The fact that the Garrick doesn't admit women members. There are lots of these members clubs, um, you know, across London, probably in other parts of the country as well, and, you know, you have to pay for membership, so it is well-to-do members of society that go. I've no, no nothing against them existing, but all of them have changed their constitution, those that were once men only. You know, they all now admit women. The only exception now is the Garrick. No, no, no. The last time the Garrick had a vote, over half its members voted to let women in, but they need a two-thirds majority, apparently, um, to to change the rules. So there are hopes if they have another vote that they'll change the rules. To be honest, though, I mean, one of my thoughts is this is archaic, it shouldn't exist anymore. My other thought is, well, why are we, genuinely, why are we talking about it if we've got nothing more important going on? The Guardian journalist who wrote this story is Amelia Gentleman. <laughs> That's her surname. And uh, she is the uh, daughter-in-law of Stanley Johnson, or a daughter of oh. Stanley Johnson, uh, uh, father of Boris. And um, he's a member of the Garrick. So I think it may be a tricky... They, they may have differing views. I mean, that family has proven that there, there are different, is... different... There are different political and cultural views <laughs> present within the Johnson clan. There may be not. family issues here. We could possibly be. So I do hope that they change the rules because it does seem odd in this day and age that this institution exists and they don't admit women members. And I think the thing... I mean, just to be frank, I genuinely could not care less uh, if there is a club that I'm not allowed into because of my sex. Um, I do, though, think that if you're going to start... You're allowed in, though. They let them in. Yeah, but not as members. Yeah. Um, but I do think if you're going to start, um, you know, having all of this kind of respect and all the rest of it for single-sex spaces for men, then you can, as a society, allow uh, the ridiculousness that goes on in female spaces when a man uh, sticks a dress on and a wig, maybe, and a bit of lipstick if he's feeling bold, uh, and says that he's called Sharon and then wants to be allowed into that space and then those uh, establishments then buckle and let those men actually into things like changing rooms of women. That really, really annoys me. But on these kind of socialising clubs... I don't really mind about it, but the flip side of it would be that actually, Mike, if you're trying to get on in life, I don't know, if you want to get on in whatever, whether it's corporate life, politics, and all of the kind of networking is going on after hours among the men only, it's quite hard then, isn't it, to climb your way up? I don't think, I mean, I don't really know, but I don't think you need to be a member of the Garrett Club to get on in, in any particular sector of society, whether it be politics or banking or anything else. There are lots of others of these clubs. Um, if people want to be a member of a club, they can choose another one and do their networking there if need be. I'm sure if there's networking to be had at the Garrick, whatever your gender, you can be invited to spend time there by a member, but obviously that member would have to be a male. I got we, in... we have a transsexual in uh, my all-gents club. Do you? Uh, and uh, uh, he turns up at the bar... I mean, she turns up at the bar um, uh, dressed as a woman now. And um, uh, nobody bats an eyelid. But Bang on, um, there was on. discussion about this. And could this person still remain a member of an all-male membership club well, yes, uh, they as a can. woman? And yes, 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 they can, because uh, when elected, uh, they were a he. Yeah, but hold on, because it's even more simple than that. A trans woman is a biological man. 
Uh, don't get me so on that yes, one. So yes, they can still be. I'm, I'm a not. A, I, I'm not going to get myself of a into biological that much club. Anyway, I uh, reached out to the Garrick and I asked for uh, what is their transgender policy because I thought to myself, do you know what? I might start identifying as Michael Jubilee. I might feel like a man for the night and see whether or not I can get in. Uh, funnily enough, they didn't reply to me on that one, so I suspect I'm allowed uh, not to be a member. Uh, your thoughts on all of that? Many of you saying though, many men getting in touch saying, well, I can't join the Women's Institute. Uh, so why can't we all yeah. have our own spaces? Hey. Lots of you getting in touch saying, please, Michelle, please. Uh, many of you need a bit of time away from your wife. You want your private men's spaces. Uh, it's almost time for us to finish now, which is wonderful, because I'm going to ask Quinton to let me into the secrets of what goes on <laughs> among gentlemen in gentlemen clubs. A lot of boozing. That is not for uh, six o'clock hours, I can tell you. It's